morning of December 16. It was so cold, and I mean cold, that if you took an ice pick and plunged it into the ground, you'd shatter the earth into a million pieces. Japan just decided to skip fall this year. Or, better yet, if the guy upstairs confused a prayer for more business with a spell to change the weather or something. A Siberian air mass? Seriously, I know you have to stick to your root and all, but you could skip us once in a while. It's like the seasons are out of whack or something. Great. Now I'm worried about the environment. Yeah, well, I might be worried, but it's not like I'm gonna do anything about it. Too much work. Hey, close me. Oh, hello there. Class to be, huh? Right. Hmm? <laughs> You've got that worried look on your face again. What's wrong? Haru, he's sort of been hyped up all morning. Oh? About the you know what? You know it. Come on, Koizumi, hurry! Right, come in. Pardon. See ya. The you know what, huh? Every day's been cold. Tell me about it. And with all the exercise we're getting climbing this hill, who needs a gym class? We should just cancel it. <laughs> That'll be the day. You guys sound like a couple of old fogies. Look at this. See? Not even a sweat. Winter's perfect for me. I'll let the suckers have summer. Where do you get your energy from? Sprinkle some on me sometime, would ya? Huh? <laughs> Do either of you guys know what day it is today? It's December the 16th. What about it? What do you mean, what about it? There's a week left before the one day that's guaranteed to make any person's heart dance with joy. Oh, you mean the year-end assembly? Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to winter vacation. No, 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 not that. Come on, try and remember. Eight days from now, an important day, hearts dancing with joy. <laughs> you know what day I'm talking about. Just do the math, eight days. <laughs> Of course I know. Hey, Kion, how's it going? Hello there. Miss Asahina, Miss Surya, how are you? What's up with your face today? You look all bummed out. Young man, you better turn that frown upside down, girl. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, Kion. Sure, bye. I'll be there in a bit. I have to take care of a couple of things first. Oh, okay. I know what's happening next week? This so-called event that's making everyone freak out? Of course I do. It's easy when the person in the seat behind me makes it her mission to keep track of such things. She's the general manager of all the trouble I've gotten into since April. She's the root of all evil in the universe. The person behind every threat to my existence. Uh, yeah. Her. What am I doing? Miss Asahina isn't even in there. Just 
you, Nagato? on, right, Kyung? We all know you don't have much of a social life, and I'm only asking because I didn't want you to feel like a loser. Yeah, well, what if I did have something going on? Tell me what you're planning first. You're free, I knew it. How about you, Koizumi? I bet you got a date with a girlfriend, don't you? Huh? It would be wonderful if that were indeed the case. However, believe it or not, my schedule prior to Christmas Eve is completely open and flexible at present. To tell the truth, I was getting a little worried about how I was going to pass the time. Liar. You made yourself free on purpose. Admit it. Well, now you don't have to worry about it. Besides, this will be way better. How about you, Mikuru? You've probably got plans, too. Like maybe someone asked you to go watch the moment that rain turns to snow in the dead of night. Suddenly, she's from the Showa era. Actually, I don't have anything planned next week. Dead of night? You could go what? out with me, Miss Asahina. Yuki? Nothing. Awesome! Whoa! Okay, then, it's settled. <laughs> Since nobody has plans for next week, we're gonna throw an SOS Brigade Christmas party! As usual, if there are any objections, you can file them after the event, and I promise I'll take them into consideration. And as usual, she's doing whatever she wants. She did ask if everyone had plans, though. I guess she's making a little progress. Um, what are we going to do at this party? That's exactly what we're going to figure out! Today is the 16th, so that gives us eight days to get ready for it and plan all the fun we're going to have. Anyway, I went ahead and picked up some stuff. Check it out. This will help everyone get into the Christmas spirit and make this party the coolest thing we've ever done. Oh, great. More knickknacks. Where did she find that junk anyway? This will help brighten up our drab little clubroom like never before. Come on, Kyung. Didn't you used to do this when you were a kid? Yeah, well, I never really wanted to, but every year I was forced to help my little sister get her room all Christmased up. Even though she's 11 years old, she still believes in Santa Claus, so it looks like I'll have to do it again for her this year. You know, you could learn a lot from your kid sister's pure and innocent heart. You have to believe in a dream if you want to have one in the first place. If you don't believe, even the dreams that can come true won't. <laughs> You're wearing it now? When in Rome, do as the Romans do. So 
since it's Christmas, it's only logical that we follow the rules of Christmas. Getting into the vibe is going to be easy, because everybody likes birthday parties. And I know for a fact, when Mr. Price looks down and sees us all having fun, it's going to make him so happy! Who's going to clean that up? Me, that's it. Sweet! Not that I care, but if you look at that from the outside, it's backwards. I almost forgot! I bought Mikuru a kind of early Christmas present. Really? How oh, you shouldn't have! Ta-da! I feel bad for Miss Asahina. But as long as she lets Miss Suzumiya have her way, I don't have to worry about anything worse happening. Closed space in the Shinjin. Is that right? Those are the two things myself and the organization fear more than anything else. For real. Since the spring, the number of occurrences has dropped considerably, but we're still on high alert. So they're still happening every now and then? Of course. However, the phenomena now take place exclusively between midnight and dawn. One theory is that when she's dreaming, if she has a nightmare, she creates closed space subconsciously. Man, she's trouble when she's awake and when she's asleep. No, not at all. Ever since she started high school, it's been my job to observe Miss Suzumiya's every action. And at the beginning, I never would have imagined I'd see her smiling and having fun like she is now. The fact is, ever since she met you, Miss Suzumiya's mental state has been more stable than it ever was in junior high. Yeah, sure. There's no doubt in my mind that Miss Suzumiya is changing. Changing in a good way, of course. And it's obvious that everyone around her is also changing for the better. I'm talking about you and me and Miss Asahina. And probably Miss Nagato, too. He picked up on that, too, huh? I'm surprised he noticed the little ways in which Nagato's been changing recently. Okay, come in! <laughs> Ow! No! <laughs> What are you doing, you pervert? I've died and gone to heaven. Oh, God, it's also to shine your grace on me. Ah! Oh. How dare you peep at Mikuru's panties like a creep? I never thought in a million years you dare to do that. You did it on purpose, didn't you? Would you knock it off? I didn't see anything. It was an accident. Oh, okay. I'm sorry I overreacted. Wow, that's some outfit. I hope that you don't think I'm being too forward here, but I have to admit, that costume suits you to a T. Yeah? You hear that? You're crazy cute, so stand up straight and carry yourself with confidence. Now you're the official Santa poster girl for the SOS Brigade's Christmas party! It's an honor to be a sex symbol, don't you think? I guess so. Holy oh, bangs! This is way sexier than a maid outfit. Well, there you have it. That's how I spent December the 16th. It's the morning of December the 17th. A Christmas party, huh? Definitely sounds like something Susan Mee would pull. And in the club room. Just make sure the teachers don't find out about it. It'll just cause trouble again. So are you going to come hang out or what? <laughs> you got to be kidding. Super sorry, Kyung, but I don't got time for one of your chintzy little get-togethers. <laughs> What's up with that creepy laugh, man? Believe it or not, I got plans. <sighs> Hanging out with your freaky friends at school on Christmas Eve? <laughs> man, that's what losers do. And I hate to break it to you, buddy, but I'm not a loser anymore. Are you telling me you got it? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Christmas Eve, December 24. If you happen to see my calendar, I got some big red heart drawn around it, baby. <laughs> sorry I can't make it, bro. Totally sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so who's the unlucky girl? She's a freshman at Koyoan Academy. Yeah, but I still have to figure out where we're going to go and what we're going to do. <laughs> decisions! Decisions! Yay! Joe! <laughs> 
Anyway, since we didn't have anything better to do after school, we were corralled into helping with the decorations. <laughs> I totally forgot about it this time, but next year we should put together birthday parties for Buddha and Mohammed too. We gotta keep things fair and square. It's sort of insincere throwing birthday parties for folks you don't believe in. Hey, what should we do about the food? Hot pot? Sukiyaki? As long as it's not crab. Getting the meat out of the shell is such a hassle. Honestly, I think every crab should have a shell you can eat. I mean, it's called evolution, and that would be the next logical step for them. Why do you think they evolved with shells in the first place? Newsflash, natural selection isn't about accommodating the appetites of human beings. Hey, Haruhi, I just noticed we're all out of tinsel. Then go out and buy some more. Who, me? Yes, you. <sighs> Whatever we decide to eat, we should make a reservation with the restaurant as soon as possible. We might not get a table if we wait much longer. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll eat here. Uh, uh. In the club room? A hot pot? Why not? We've got everything we need. All that's left are the ingredients, but no alcohol allowed. I swore I'd go my whole life without touching the stuff. Hold it. Mm -hmm. No open flames are allowed in this building. So then we'll cook it in secret. It'll be more fun. <coughs> If any teachers or the student council come by, I'll wow well them with my incredibly awesome hot pot cooking skills. And when they taste it, they'll be so emotionally overwhelmed by the deliciousness, they're bound to give us special permission to cook in here whenever we want. Nothing could possibly go wrong. My plan's perfect! Okay, people, let's get cracking. Decorating will help get us in the spirit. We're gonna make this party the best ever! <sighs> For a prologue that was way too long, I know. But you really can't call it anything else. Trust me on that. The story starts here. And so we'll call it Actually, it starts tomorrow. Uh, maybe it started that night. Wait, maybe it started... Oh, whatever. The next day, December 18th, the wind blew down hard from the mountains. It was trying to freeze everything in its path. And something happened that pushed me down into a sea of despair. Right down into the very pit of hell itself. Just giving you a heads up. There's nothing funny about what was going to happen to me next. Yo, Taniguchi. Huh? Hey, Kion. Huh? Whoa, you catch cold? Yeah, I wanted to stay home, but my old man bitched me out of the house. Must have hit you fast. You were all fired up yesterday. Huh? I felt like crap yesterday, too. Don't you remember? <laughs> I remember you going off about your hot plans for Christmas Eve. Well, make sure you get better fast. You might not get another date with that girl if you Wait. cancel on her. What date? Mm. Oh. I don't got any plans for Christmas Eve. What about that girl from Koyuen Academy you had a date with? Don't tell me she broke up with you before your big night. Seriously, guy, what the heck are you talking about? I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> <coughs> That's weird. I guess his date got canceled for some reason. I bet he's playing it cool because of all the bragging he was doing yesterday. He probably feels horrible. Yeah, that's what's going on. Huh? There'll be others. Huh? You know, you should come join us for our party at the club room. I'm sure we haven't reached maximum capacity yet. Party in the club room? What party? Okay then, suit yourself. 
He's in shock from getting dumped. That's it. No matter what I said, he'd ignore it. If that's what he wants, so be it. I'll just leave him alone and let time work its magic on his wounds. A lot of people from my class were absent. Probably the work of that cold that was going around. After he got to school, Taniguchi went straight to the nurse's office. He never showed up to class. I wasn't too surprised about that. He looked terrible. What did surprise me, though, was that the seat behind me stayed empty all day. Wow. Even Haruhi was absent. I didn't realize this year's cold was that serious. Think about that for a second. You got a virus. Then you got Haruhi. Virus infiltrates your body and gets the best of her? That's gotta be some cold. We don't really get the chance to go in the water this time of year. They've got us doing weight training and stuff like that instead. <laughs> At least you're warm. <laughs> Looks like she's absent today. Can I sit behind you? Yeah, sure. This cold that everyone's come down with came out of nowhere, didn't it? Huh? What do you mean? It's been going around the campus for at least a week or so now. You're kidding me, a week? They're pretty sure it's not the flu. But if you want my opinion, the flu would have been better. At least they can give you a vaccination for that. Back up. You just said this cold's been going around for a week, right? At least that. There's a lot of people who are absent. Don't tell me you're just noticing. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I am. It got worse at the beginning of the week. Man, I hope they don't cancel school. They'd probably take it out of our winter vacation, you know? I bet it sucks to be Donaguchi right now. His dad thinks unless you've got a fever of 104, you suck it up and go to school. He's a heal it with willpower kind of guy. Kunikita, this is probably going to sound weird, but I didn't notice that he was that sick until I saw him this morning. What, you're kidding, right? Uh -uh. Didn't you see him Monday? He was already in bad shape. He missed gym class yesterday, remember? <laughs> What's the matter, Kion? Not hungry? What the heck is going on around here? This is clearly an omen that some crisis for all of humanity but not for Haruhi kind of thing was about to happen. Later, I found out my intuition wasn't off. It was definitely an omen. The only part my intuition got wrong was the crisis part. This wasn't a crisis for all of humanity but not for Haruhi. This was a crisis only for the person who noticed it in the first place. You guessed it. Me. So, I sat there, confused, a blank look on my face, totally alone in the world. Hey! What is it? It's so hard to get 
You're not supposed to be here. What are you talking about? Is there something wrong with my coming to class today? I hope you don't think I'm contagious, because I promise I'm not. <laughs> I don't care about your damn cold. You know that's not what I'm talking about. You, you're acting really weird. Do you even know what you're saying? Are you okay? Of course I am, but don't you think it's a little weird to see her standing there? You know who she is. Don't tell me that you don't. And you know she shouldn't be here. I don't know what you're talking about. She's been in our class since day one. She's only been gone for a day or two, so how could you forget? You're being rude. Of course I didn't forget. That's the face of the person who tried to kill me. Oh, I think I get it. You must have dozed off while eating your lunch. Did you have a nightmare or something? Why don't you go wash your face? I'll let you borrow my handkerchief. No! Who knows what she's going to pull out of that pocket of hers? I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going to find out. Why did you hang your bag on Haruhi's chair? This has never been your seat. Admit it! Haruhi sits here! Haruhi? I'm sorry, but I don't know any Haruhi. Uh, uh, huh? Well, do you? Someone named Haruhi? Hmm... Come on. No, I've never heard of her. But Haruhi is Haruhi. This isn't real. He doesn't remember Haruhi Suzumiya. This can't be happening. How can anybody forget someone like her? Kyon. There isn't anybody in our class with that name. Miss Asakura has been sitting in this chair since the last seat rotation. Are you sure you're not thinking of some other class? This shouldn't be happening. I don't this know anyone with the name Suzumiya. This shouldn't be Maybe happening. Maybe she's not more great. Kunikita, would you please have a look inside my desk? Take out the class roster. Uh, no worries, I'll get it. Nikita. Uh huh. Could you pinch me on the cheek? I really want to wake up now. Seriously? Seriously, hurry! <sighs> Ow! Haruhi Suzumiya is, right? No, I don't. I've never heard of her. <sighs> Asakura transferred out of the class, didn't she? What are you talking about? She never transferred. You know Haruhi, right? No, I've never heard of her. That's Haruhi Suzumiya's seat, isn't it? No, it's not. Miss Asakura sits there. <laughs> Why is everyone staring? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I can take you to see the nurse. Maybe you have a fever or something. Oh, he's gone. Nobody remembers her. Is that possible? Wasn't the deal supposed to be that the world revolved around her? Wasn't she the one the universe was interested in? Wasn't it watching? Nagato. Nagato. Nagato! Not here. She'd be in the club room right now. Oh yeah, Koizumi! Wait a minute. Where did class nine go? They're gone. Koizumi and everyone in class nine. Gone. What is this? What's happening? Hey, you. I think class has started, young man, so get going. People who 
shouldn't be here are here. The people who should be here aren't. Either the world's gone totally insane, or I'm insane. Who did it? Haruhi, was it you? went in one ear and out the other. I was scared. And not just because Ryoko Asakura was back, but also because Haruhi and Koizumi weren't here. Before I knew it, school was over. Kunikida and Asakura were worried and tried to talk to me. But I don't even remember what I said back to them. Nagato yet, but Asakura's here, and everyone in the school's acting weird. But you are the Miss Asahina I've always known, aren't you? You are, right? You're Miss Asahina, the one who came from the future, aren't you? I'm sorry, bud. I'm not from the future. Can you let go of my hand now? Hold it there, buddy. Watch your manners, got it? You're scaring my little Mikuru here! Ow! Miss Tsuria, that hurts! What the? How do you know my name? It can't be. No! I never met you before. Who the heck are you, huh? Mikuru, do you know this guy? Huh? No, I've never seen him before! Well, I... Are you okay, Mikuru? Miss Asahina, don't do this. He's worried there. There's no way I'd ever mistake anyone for you, Miss Asahina. Not in a million years. As cute as you are, Mikuru. Especially with freaky twerks. Wait, that's it. I think I know how I can prove she's the Miss Asahina I know. Miss Asahina! Yes! I know for a fact you've got a tiny star-shaped mole on your breast right about here. You have to let me see it. Own. She freaks out super easy. And if you do something like that again, <laughs> you're gonna have to face my wrath. Got it? Wait up, Mikuru! <laughs> it's over. Everything's over. I've finally run out of options. I don't have her number anymore. And since I don't know her address, I can't find it by calling information. Now that I think about it, I've never even been to her house. So just showing up's out of the question, too. There was only one place for me to go. 
a fortress of final refuge. My last line of defense. If we're defeated there, it's over. The end of the line. Please. She looking at me like that. Nagato. <laughs> yes. I was wondering. This is gonna sound weird, but do you know who I am? <laughs> I do. <laughs> hoping you'd say that. I know a few things about you, too. <laughs> Mind if I tell you what I know? For starters, you aren't human. You're sort of an android created by an alien species. And you've got these powers, kind of like magic, that you use to save us every now and then. You made a bat that hit home runs, and you fought a giant cricket in another dimension. Anyway, that's the stuff I know about you. Am I wrong? I'm sorry. Why'd she say that? What's Nagato apologizing for? I know you're a student here and you're in class five. So yes, I've seen you around. But I'm afraid that's pretty much all I know about you. Actually... This is the first time I've ever spoken to you. So what you're saying is, you're not an alien. Alien? And the name Haruhi Suzumiya, you don't, you don't remember it? No. <laughs> but you have to! Think back and try to remember! Don't you remember this past summer when we had to repeat the same two weeks 15,000 times? Come on, try to remember! Everyone we know changed between yesterday and today! Haruhi's gone, but Asakura's here! You know who's responsible for it, don't you? Was it the Data Integration Thought Entity? If Asakura's been resurrected, you'd know about it, wouldn't you? She's the same as you, right? What the hell's going on? You're the only one who can tell me what's happening! You've always been able to, remember? Uh. Stop it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to freak out on you like that. I just wanted to be sure. That's all. If this is someone's attempt at trying to drive me crazy, it's working. Man, is it working. I wonder who's behind all this. Is it Haruhi? The data integration thought entity? Or some new enemy we haven't seen yet? as it did back in May, when Haruhi dragged me here by force, and I saw Nagato's face for the first time. Wait, no. The only thing
thing that's different about this room is the computer. The literary club never had one. And that's not the one Haruhi swiped. <laughs> She's definitely not the Nagato I know. She would never act like this. Nagato, would it be okay if I use your computer for a bit? I guess before she'll let me use it, she has to move some files around. I bet it's stuff she doesn't want anyone to see. And I get that. I wouldn't want other people to see those pictures I have of Miss Asahina, you know? Okay. Thank you. find any files about the SOS Brigade or the pictures of Miss Asahina that I'd hidden. I couldn't find the SOS Brigade website either. There wasn't any proof of Haruhi's existence on it anywhere. I was hoping to find some clue or hidden message left by Nagato, like the time Haruhi and I were trapped in closed space. That's what I was hoping. Sorry to bother you. Are you finished? Yeah. I couldn't find the thing I was hoping was there. Wait. Take one, if you want. One good thing about experiencing a metric ton of weirdness since the beginning of school is that I've become used to it. If I hadn't, I would have gone crazy talking to the school's counselors by now. Where the heck could she be? Tossing me out into a world like this. I wonder where she is and what kind of trouble she's causing. Why do I have to be the one who's got to look for her, huh? <laughs> Welcome home, Kyo. Mom said dinner's almost ready. It's dinner time, show me. It's dinner, to dinner, to dinner, 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 to dinner. <gasps> Mary! What was that for? Do you remember Haruhi? And Miss Asahina and Nagato or Koizumi? You remember, we all played baseball together and went to an island and made a crappy movie? What? I don't know. <sighs> okay, how long have we had this little guy? Do you know who brought him here? Did you forget? You got him about a month ago, you silly. A friend of yours moved overseas and he gave him to you. Isn't that right, Chani? <laughs> There's things I need to talk to him about. Alone, if you don't mind. Huh? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave right now, sis. You're gonna talk to Shami? Seriously? Oh, the floor's gold! Aww. Hey, Mommy! Kyo's gone crazy! He's trying to talk to Shami! Listen up, Shami-sen. Now, I know I told you before that you should never, ever talk, but I'm revoking that order. So come on, you little furball. I want to hear your voice right now. Go ahead, Shami-sen. Say something. Anything. 
Talk about philosophy or science, anything you want. It doesn't matter if I don't understand. Say something. Do you understand anything I'm saying? Maybe you can hear me, but for some reason you can't reply. Is that it? If the answer's yes, I want you to hold out your right front paw. And if the answer's no, I want you to hold out your left front paw, okay? That figures. I can say for a fact now that this is not a world where cats talk. And now I'm weird for trying to have a conversation with him. As of today, this particular world I'm in is normal. And I'm not. Is that really true? It's December the 19th. Starting today, the school days are shorter. The cold has spread all over the school. Good morning. I hope you're awake today. I guess. You know, just because your eyes are open, that doesn't necessarily mean you're wide awake. You have to accept the reality that's in front of you, and that'll help you start to understand everything. So how about it then? Do you think you can do that? Asakura. Mm -hmm. You're just acting like you don't know what's going on around here, aren't you? Be honest, hasn't the thought of killing me ever crossed your mind? I think you should go to the hospital as soon as possible. You should do it before it's too late. Consider this, if you will. You have a very unhappy person living in a certain place. Then, he opens his eyes one day, and the whole world is completely changed. It's a beautiful world. Calling it utopia doesn't even do it justice, it's that wonderful. And this person will never be unhappy ever again. Overnight, he was snatched from the jaws of hell and taken straight to heaven. The thing is, this person didn't do this himself. In fact, he had absolutely no idea who was responsible for changing his world. It was a total mystery. And that's how he stayed, never knowing who it was or why they did it, forever. So I ask you, is this something this person should be happy about? Up until the other day, I'd been run ragged by all the weird happenings going on around Haruhi. But none of that matters to the person I am right now, in this world. There's no Haruhi, no Koizumi. Nagato and Miss Asahina are normal humans. There aren't any aliens, time travelers, or espers. Not to mention the fact that cats don't talk. It's a normal world. Here's the thing. Was I happier in the world with Haruhi in it? Or am I happier here in a world where she's disappeared? Well, am I happy now? automatically took me to the literary club room. When class ended, I'd always head over to the SOS Brigade. I'd play games with Koizumi and sip on a cup of Miss Asahina's tea. And I'd listen to Haruhi talk crazy about some new plan she had. It's like a bad habit. And let me tell you, trying to quit a cold turkey isn't easy. Believe me. But today feels different for some reason. Seriously? Yeah. What am I going to do with this? I guess Nagato gave it to me because she'd like me to join the literary club. But even in this world, the literary club doesn't have any members. I wonder if she's trying to recruit people. Sorry, I didn't... There comes a day when I can have a cup of Miss Asahina's tea again. Come in. Hi. Is it okay that I came? 
Thanks. Well, here I am. And I have no idea what I'm going to do next. Um, are all those books on the shelf yours? Some of them have been here all along. Oh. I, uh, huh? I borrowed this one uh, from the city library. Oh, really? Just wondering, have you ever tried writing a novel yourself? I just read them. For a second there, I thought the file she was hiding yesterday was a book she was writing. That's something I'd like to read. Maybe it's sci-fi. It couldn't be a love story, could it? Are you the one who wrote this? Collect the keys necessary to activate the program. The time limit is two days. Did you write this? It does look like my handwriting, but I don't remember writing anything like that. You don't, huh? Of course you don't. No, it's fine. I'd be more worried if you did write it. Sorry, don't mind me. Considering this a present from you to me, you gave me a hint to break out of this mess. That's what this is, right? <laughs> Program. Necessary. Keys. Time limit. Two days. Today is the 19th. Does this mean two days from today? Or two days from when the world turned upside down for me? I guess in a worst case scenario, it would mean the deadline's tomorrow. I don't really understand, but it says some keys are needed to start a kind of program or something. But what are the keys? And if I find all the keys, am I supposed to turn them in for a prize? And if I figure out how to start this program, does that mean the world goes back to the way it was? These key things are pretty vague when you think about it. They're probably not the kind you use in locks. Maybe they're key words or key persons or something. I mean, 
They could be anything. Are they things or a bunch of words? Am I going to have to carry them? Seriously, Nagato. I would have appreciated a little less mystery and a lot more info on your clue. It's no use. I have no idea. I guess the Nagato in this world is really shy. Or maybe she's just not used to people noticing her. Maybe joining the literary club and having fun in a world without Harlehue wouldn't be so bad. Who am I kidding? I can't bail yet. I haven't tasted Harlehue's hot pot, and the image of Santa Asahina hasn't burned itself onto my retinas yet. I guess I'll go home now. Okay. Uh, you weren't waiting for me to leave, were you? Walking home with Nagato. I don't remember ever having done this before. Uh, hey there, Nagato. Yes? Well, I was just curious. Do you live by yourself? Yeah. I bet you're wondering how I knew that. You know, I've been to your place quite a few times, actually. But I bet if I told you that now, you'd think I was talking nonsense or something. Since you live by yourself, have you ever thought about getting a cat? You know, they're pretty cool. And the weird thing about them is that sometimes it's like they can understand what you say. Pets aren't allowed. Oh, I see. Um. Hmm? Will you come? Where to? Where I live tonight. Nothing. I have no idea if she's being shy or timid or aggressive. It looks like the layout of her room changed a bit. Nagato? Is it okay if I take a look in here? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'll just be a sec. <laughs> Thank you. 